I have a bad habit of beginning projects with great energy and enthusiasm, and then somewhere along about the middle, losing my nerve. Now, I don't get tired, and I don't lose my enthusiasm, but I begin to wonder if it was a good idea in the first place. And I begin to think, well, maybe what I've done so far is enough. I should stop now and not press my luck. And the diff trouble is that, that that stops me from achieving what it was I originally set out to do. I feel that way when I get to the stage of Advent as well. I don't know about you. I may be not the only person who at this time of the year feels like perhaps I committed to a few too many things in the month of December. There are a few too many things that I promised myself I would do this year differently from last year, and of course I haven't done them. And so I think it's helpful now at the midpoint of Advent, more or less, to stop just for a minute and remember what it is that we're moving toward. Today is the Feast of St. Lucy, and those who come every Wednesday will be tired of hearing me say by now, we really don't know anything about St. Lucy that's historical. And in fact, the main thing that most people know about St. Lucy has nothing to do with the woman or where she lived, because she did not live in Sweden. But the thing we all know about St. Lucy is St. Lucia's Day and the halo, the, the, the wreath of candles and the white dresses and singing in the dark. It makes sense. If you've ever been to Scandinavia in the wintertime, you really do need to light a candle because there isn't a whole lot of extra light. But that, I think, is the point. That, I think, is where risk losing our nerve at the middle of Advent. Half the Advent wreath is lit. Maybe that's enough light. Maybe it's enough for us. Maybe it's good enough. But it isn't. I don't think we can sell the plan of God short for the universe. Because God's plan for the universe isn't enough light, good enough, well, it'll work for now, we'll do better later. God's vision for the universe is perfection for you and for me and for everyone and everything. Just how can we possibly stop at good enough? So thanks be to God for the example of St. Lucy and more light, even if she didn't really realize that's what she was going to do eventually. Because it's not that long now until the promise of God is fulfilled. There is more light coming. The Advent wreath promises us the other half will be lit in a very short time. Hang in there, dear friends. Don't grow weary. Plainly, that's what the choosers of the lessons for today had in mind. If only we will re retain our nerve through this stage of the project, something glorious waits for us just a little bit further on. It isn't just the end of this month and the festivity that comes with it, but the fulfillment of God's purposes for you and for me and for all of creation. Can we hope for any less? Amen.